conducted by International Psychology Center. So the title of our webinar is Multiple Personality Disorder, Dissociative Identity Disorder, Schizophrenia, The Psychological and Biochemical Causes and Therapies. We have our honorable speaker here, Dr. Edward Chan, who holds a PhD in Psychology, Master of Science in Learning, Master's in Nutritional Medicine, and Bachelor of Science of Honours in Psychology. Dr. Edward is also the Principal Consultant Psychologist at the International Psychology Centre, Board Certified Counselling Psychologist with the Malaysian Association for Psychotherapy and the International Society for Psychotherapy, Counselling and Psychiatry. Apart from that, Dr. Edward is also a fellow member of the World Council for Psychotherapy, invited speaker for the fourth World Congress for Psychotherapy 2020, keynote speaker for the fourth International Psychotherapy Counseling and Psychiatry Confer Conference 2020, invited speaker for the 37th European Psychiatry Conference on Schema Therapy. Beyond all the respectable position he holds, Dr. Edward is also known for authoring many remarkable book and research papers, he is also the author of Dancing with Crocodile, a manual on somatic psychology and body language, author of Love May Not Be Enough, Key Principles of Couple Psychology, author of research papers published in the Journal of Cognitive Therapy and Research, author of research papers published in the Journal for Reattached Therapy and Developmental Diversities, author of research papers published in the International Journal of Psychiatry. Last but not least, he's also an accredited reattached therapist and practitioner of EMDR and schema therapy. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you for that kind introduction. And of course, Kamini is one of our general practitioner license holder um, of MAP and have done uh, several courses, including emotion focused therapy um, and uh, a few other interesting therapy. <laughs> On. I'm very <laughs> and now, honored. And now starting to do <laughs> children as well. All right, I'm, I'm very you. honored to be given such opportunity to attend patients with you, doctor. So, yeah, <laughs> let's go to today's topic, multiple personality disorder, dissociative identity disorder, schizophrenia. These are perhaps the most uh, stigmatized and misunderstood psychological disorder, even among doctors and psychologists. Both uh, schizophrenia and uh, DID causes more perturbation and attention among the media and the public than any other mental illness. As a result, People who are suffering from uh, schizophrenia and DID, which is uh, previously known as uh, multiple personality disorder, have often been shunned, abused, or locked up. Doctor, let's try to understand what are the differences among uh, all these uh, disorders? Well, uh, of course, um the multiple personality disorder used to be uh, in in the uh, diagnostic manual um, i think dsm4 uh, particularly and and before that dsm3 there there were mention of it but only in uh, in in a parenthesis right um yeah um and and then in dsm5 it it has uh, become uh, DID, this associative identity disorder. So th these are essentially two separate uh, diagnosable disorder, but but then um, you're not going to get diagnosed with both, right? It's this because uh, multiple personality disorder and DD has um, has been uh, changed to DID, right? But they are uh, also different uh, diagnosable disorder at the same time. Uh, but uh, why we we have um, put them together in this webinar, you know, alongside uh, schizophrenia, mm -hmm. is is because there there are the, a lot of confusion, um, and uh, amongst among these uh, two or, or three disorders, and and they, they can also be uh, uh, confused. Uh, of, of 
one as the other, right? So, so in some people's mind, schizophrenia are like multiple personality disorder and MDID, right? So, so it is uh, useful to talk about uh, what are in common and what are different, right? Uh, amongst them, um, and also actually how these uh, the disorders uh, can also be very relatable uh, even to uh, other people, to, to everyone, uh, to you and me, right? That, that we uh, maybe, you know, uh, we do have uh, uh, to some degree some uh, DID, some multiple personalities also, right? Yes. So, so that, that is something we, we want to uh, touch upon. Right, that's why we, we put them together uh, as well as uh, um, you know with uh, and and to, to talk about the differences as well right doctor so uh, hmm. also uh, aligning with what you said research also has shown that a high co-occurrence between um, BID and schizophrenia spectrum disorder between nine percentage and up to 50 percentage of people with schizophrenia also meet the criteria for DID, right? So can we, right. can we know more about that? What are those criteria? Well, uh, I mean, okay, so let, let's talk a little bit about uh, this 2D disorder, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, so in uh, DID, um, it is, um, well, it, this, this, this is also uh, quite philosophical. In, in, in a way, I mean, after all, psychology comes from philosophy originally, right? In the old days, there, there were no psychology. Uh, but in all most respectable university, there will be a philosophy department and then psychology like grew out of that. But, but uh, this, this idea of different personality or persons identities in one physical body, right? is is uh it's very it's a it's a big philosophical question is it possible to have a right, different personality different person inside one body right and and there are lots of uh research and data showing that uh, that is possible right so you literally have uh different it's like different person i mean we don't define a person necessarily as uh uh essentially linked to a body right i mean you know if 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 this this thing can speak it can be a person it can essentially you know this cup can be a person if, if i can talk to him or, or her and, and he can uh, interact with me right so so anything can be person it's not just because you you have a body so the idea of the multiple personality or DID is that there are different persons, different personality in one body to the extent that uh, when the, you're talking to different uh, personality that might e even have different um, um, eye pressure, for example, right? Their, their, their degree of, of uh, optical uh, eyesight might be different from one personality to, to another. They, they, they would have uh, uh, different physiological symptoms. One will be right-handed, one will be left-handed. So to that extent, we are talking about different person, different personality inside one body, right? So this is the, the idea of DID or multiple personality <clears throat> uh, that has been going on, right? In, in schizophrenia, you are talking about uh, a, a person that is, uh, uh, sometimes it's associating, you know, they are hearing voices, they, 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 are, they are thinking that they, they are in another place. So they are, they are the, their connection with reality uh, might be, uh, shall we say, the questionable, right? I mean, I mean in their own mind, they, they, they might not think so. They might think they are in, in outer space, for example, right? So, so they're all right, but, but you and I might, might question that. So, 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 so in that way, you can also say maybe they, they have this associated to another personality. So this is the connection, right? But, but it is, it is um, normally in a DID, 
you 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 don't get so much of that. Although you get different personality that don't think that they are like in another planet or anything like that, right? So so their touch of reality is still very much intact, even though it is about um, different personhood or different personality, right? So so that is the connection and maybe some difference between the ID and schizophrenia. Right. So these these are the terms why people are often confused also between schizophrenia and DID, right, Doctor? Yes, yes, that, that that's right. There there are certainly the connections, right? Mm -hmm. uh, share mm -hmm. the criteria. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the other difference um of course is in schizophrenia you you have uh, what we call negative symptoms, mm -hmm. right? Uh, mm -hmm. meaning that uh, there are things that that uh, are not there in, in uh, maybe a healthy person, like looking after themselves, grooming and all that. So, so you have a, a normally a bunch of negative symptoms, which might not necessarily be there in DID, right? You're just talking about different person, different personalities, but they don't necessarily have negative symptoms. But in schizophrenia, you, you do see um, quite often these negative symptoms and of course positive symptoms meaning hallucination and things like that which uh, um, you know you can argue is part of the DID. Right, right. definitely mm. there are some some delusional elements are, uh, existing well, in this, this, this is this is this um, is questionable right what is delusional mm -hmm. <laughs> and what is not right you 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 can say it is just a, another personality it's a delusion right so mm -hmm, so that mm -hmm. that 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 is questionable um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah but 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 you're right in in, in that sense that that uh with mm -hmm. a schizophrenia often there are delusional element but one can and you know, i can come back to you and challenge who is to say what what is delusional <laughs> right right doctor right. so yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anand. And defining both of this uh, disorder, let's try to go a bit deeper to understand the causes behind this. So I believe um, uh, neither of this condition has one definitive cause, but I somehow believe um, the experts, they believe that several factors play a role in the development of uh, schizophrenia, such as a person's gene, environment, uh, brain development, and chemicals, and also pregnancy complication. But this is not true with um, DID, but it is more associated with uh, trauma. How true is that, Doctor? Um, yeah, that uh, uh, has, has been said, right? Uh, I, and and one, one might say they are more of a, a physical genetic <clears throat> component with schizophrenia like mm -hmm. like uh, for example to do with the uh, dopamine gene i mean the dopamine uh, neurotransmitters uh, expression right so there are a number of genes to do with upregulation that means producing too much of dopamine and we we have uh, in in our lab in a uh, well lab which is linked to the international psychology center uh, a urine measure of dopamine Right, and there are even ge genetic markers to see whether dopamine is up, up regulated. And there, there are some genes, uh, some people with these uh, genes that are related to up regulation of dopamine, um, who have more propensity for schizophrenia. That 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 has been one one of the genetic link, uh, for example, right, uh, which is uh, mm -hmm. less less so with uh, DID and, and maybe that uh, there are situation of uh, abuses and neglect uh, that, that can uh, maybe uh, more environmental, shall we say, right? That, that, that would have uh, given rise to, to these uh, multiple personalities. Right, uh, so yeah. uh, what I'm... Mm -hmm. So what I'm, I'm hearing from this explanation is uh, through the lab test that is provided by International Psychology Center, you are going further one step ahead to, to diagnose properly whether it's this schizophrenia or DID, apart well, from just... I, I mean, uh, we, we won't be using lab tests for, for diagnosis as, as such. The, the lab mm -hmm. tests are, are there to add further information 
about some of mm -hmm. these uh, physical contribution, but it's not a diagnostic tool, right? For, for mm -hmm. diagnostic tool, uh, I mean, psychological disorders uh, are different from, you know, med physical medical disorders like COVID, you know, we, we have a PCR mm -hmm. to, to diagnose, right? But then mm -hmm. there's no PCR to diagnose a DID or a schizophrenia, right? For that, right. We, we, have, we have psychological tools for diagnosis mm -hmm. like a DSM-5 and we have various uh, personality tools to, mm -hmm. to do the diagnosis, right? So, so it's, it's, it is a psychological tool rather than, than a lab test. The lab test will enable us to, to have further information. Right, the further yeah. information is on the level of neurotransmitters and biochemicals that is supporting Indeed. our right Indeed. Indeed. diagnosis. Yeah. Got that. Mm. All right, doctor. So uh, speaking about the factors, an estimated 90% of people with a DID have a history of severe childhood trauma, indicating the presence of a neglect or abuse. The condition can arise when a child dissociates himself as a defense mechanism to escape an intolerable reality. So the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, they describe as a result of this, the child will tend to shift between separate identities. They form inside themselves to escape the trauma or their triggers. And doctor, as your student, I had a lot of privileges to witness your remarkable contribution in the theory of multiple self. Most of the time, you raise the concept of awareness, ego, and multiple self when addressing patients' concern. Can you enlighten our audience on this concept and how much it is related to our topic today? Well, um, it all goes back to uh, the father of uh, psychotherapy, Sigmund Freud, and, and his uh, student, uh, Carl Gustav Jung, right? So what Freud and, and Jung has uh, contributed in the field of psychology and psychotherapy is that we have no control of ourselves. All right, so that is frightening, and 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 uh, wow, that is a frightening a realization. We don't actually have control uh, about ourselves, right? So so we all make like a New Year resolution to have go on diet to lose weight or whatnot, but then at the end of the day, we we do not we do none of that, right? Despite all the best intention, we don't do it. Um, so it is true to this uh, concept of the. Uh, unconscious that Freud uh, contributed to the field of psychology and then and then uh, Jung added to that the shadows right the shadow the shadow selves right so the idea is that uh, we don't just have one ego you know unified ego that can like do what we think what we set out to do you know feel what we want to feel we don't Right and 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 Jung especially have come up with this idea of shadows that that we all have conflict with we, we fight with, right? That that uh, have each it's like uh, this is the idea of the multiple self. Each each of our uh, different shadows, different cells have their own goals, right? So 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 for Freud, you know, we we have a sexual self that has a, a goal to, to have a sex with, with somebody else, with your neighbor, you know, despite your, your good intention to, to be respectful and everything, you know, and so, so all these shadows will have their own agenda, their, their own uh, goals. And, um, and, and this is the, the, the start of it, right? And, and when you, you talk about trauma, right, of, of uh, children not, not getting the care that they need, you know, so, uh, abuses happen at many different levels. I think you you have a series of uh, childhood call cards, right? You can show some some of these cards. Uh, these are these are some some of these uh, needs, right? <clears throat> of of uh, different different childhood needs that uh, uh, the child need, you know, to have optimum healthy development. But for many children, they don't get this. So anything short of this optimum care can be um, known as abuses, right? So abuses therefore can happen at many uh, different levels, not only sexually, physically, emotionally, 
socially, intellectually, culturally, relationship-wise, right? So abuses can happen in all these different levels. And, and when the child suffer from abuse, you know, uh, it, it's because uh, um, the optimum healthy condition is not there for the child to develop, then it cope in, in, a, in a defense mechanism by creating an altar another personality, maybe someone that is more assertive to talk to, to the parents, right? Uh, or, or, or maybe maybe uh, like, like a ver uh, adult version of themselves to, to comfort the, the, the little child that, that, that was suffering, right? So, so all these are defense mechanism of, of the person to, to cope with uh, different adverse condition. It doesn't have to be abuse, it could be a medical condition. That the child need and you know, only need to go through some some operation or something you know, and it create an altar to to cope with that, and so so it's not necessarily like um, uh, a dysfunctional um, you know in, in in many ways this is a, a a remarkable creative resource that that the person has has uh, come up with to to resolve a, a very uh, adversive maybe uh, situation, right? So so we will talk about therapy later, but therapy mm -hmm. is not necessarily about uh, like unifying or all these all these uh, alters, right? Mm -hmm. to, to, mm -hmm. to have a synthesis or anything like that. It is not 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 necessarily that. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily about uh, you know the uh, addressing the, the uh, any abuse which mm -hmm. might or may not have uh, existed, right? So, so it is an um, interesting, complex situation, right? That, that have a call upon this development of uh, alters of multiple personalities. Um, and it all can be traced back to Freud and Jung. Right. Okay, let me just try to quickly share the screen on uh, some of the Call childhood need. That yes, for example, yeah. Like, so, for mm -hmm. example, you know, one of the child need is is competent, right? right. But very often, mm -hmm. like in in our Asian uh, parenting style, you know, we we rob that of the child. We do everything mm -hmm. for the child. We don't let them do anything. So the 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 uh, need uh, for competence has been abused, right? So, right. So that 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 is what. Uh, so this is intellectual abuse, right? Mm -hmm. That that can happen mm -hmm. easily. Right. Okay. So mm. here it's okay. Let's let's pick up this example. So here it is defined that a child who does not feel competent may be reluctant to try new things. So they may have uh, additional needs, which make task harder or have had limited opportunities uh, to learn or try things due to an unstable environment or overprotective family members doing everything for them. So they mm. may view themselves as incompetent or feel ill-equipped to cope, resulting in poor self-esteem. So, so in this, in this uh, mm -hmm. example, then mm -hmm. the, the, the person then might develop uh, a competent you know, elder bar brother or elder sister alter personality to help out, right? Mm -hmm. Because, because mm -hmm. he himself, the original self is, is like, like always feel incompetent, cannot do anything, then a big sister come up. So, so there will be a big sister uh, identity that come up, you know, to take over, to do stuff, right? So, so one can imagine uh, easily how, how this uh, situation, um, you know, uh, land itself to the right. development of, of such an altar. Right, right. <clears throat> so, so doctor, so here, further questions from your explanation. So we do understand the, the certain self appearing in order to fulfill that, uh, that needs that was unmet at the moment. But let's right. say, after the situation dissolves, why the self still exists in the person? Well, uh, it is not always the case. Uh, you know, in some situation, it, it, it might continue to, to exist because there's a need, you know, for, for, for this uh, altar to step in sometimes, you know, when, when, when the, the, the self, you know, one of these uh, self feels, uh, you know, not being able to, to cope, you know, being incompetent. Mm -hmm right in, mm -hmm, in a situation mm -hmm. then then this uh competent alter step in to take over mm -hmm. to, to to assist to, to help 
But if mm-hmm. um, you know that the situation um, there's no need you know for for that anymore, then then uh, sometimes odor would would disappear. There's no need, mm-hmm. right, for for this confident mm-hmm. confident uh, odor to to step in, right? Mm-hmm. So then that there mm-hmm. won't be any need uh, any, anymore. So that can happen too. Right, right. Okay. Thank you, doctor. So I would like to uh, understand further. Um, mm. So one of the common terms that we always hear is uh, those uh, auditory hallucination, right? right? Auditory hallucination. So is this auditory hallucination is actually another self according to doctor's uh, explanation just now? Well, um, it, it is uh, possible, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, so in, in terms of uh, auditory hallucination, mm-hmm. uh, especially if, if you are talking about a uh, schizophrenia uh, mm-hmm. patient, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, very often that is experienced as someone else's voices. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. So, so, so one can argue, right? With, with, uh, uh, with, with uh, a schizophrenic uh, patient, uh, mm-hmm. that's the um don't have this awareness of the different cells in them so so mm-hmm. although that they hear you know the uh, another self talking that they think is another person yes right? Be- because yes. in uh, even in did right mm-hmm. uh, the the different uh cells uh what we call the host you know the, the mm-hmm. main host the co-host mm-hmm. like you and i are mm-hmm. co-host <laughs> Uh, but but some of these uh, main hosts and co-hosts they they don't have awareness about the other cells, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So so they don't know who else is there. And and one of the other cells uh, come out, you know, the the main host would, would have no knowledge about that. About okay. Those so, so so that can happen, right? And and maybe this is more the case with the schizophrenia that they are they're locked yes. in their primary cell that, you know. That they, they sometimes have have these uh, uh, voices and things of another self, and and they mm-hmm. they thought you know it is um, someone else, but it's actually you know part of themselves. Right. So so what I'm understanding is they can say this uh, auditory hallucination, these voices are actually internal and self generated rather than. External and other generated. Well, I mean, what what is internal and what what is uh, other is external. It is, it, it, yeah. is, it is questionable, <laughs> right? I mean, external okay. in the sense that it is external to the body, but but not external to the self, right? Because there are if if you assume there are multiple cells, so you'll be mm-hmm. another of, of his self, right? Mm-hmm. So so mm-hmm. in, in that way, it is external to the host, but 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 it's still. Yes. Yeah. Internal, actually. Right. If if you mm-hmm. want to locate internal as in, in inside his body, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Mm. Correct. Because I, I believe that most of the uh when I was like going through some of the videos and notes on this, so this is the most terrifying part according to people who are having this disorder. They often feel that these voices are external and other generated. So I believe the therapy approaches is something that we try to embrace all these voices and try to understand why they are existing there. Well, yeah, it is. It is uh, about um, yeah, understanding, embracing, you know, uh, validating mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, all, all these uh, the different voices. Yes, yes, very, very true. Right, doctor. So, so, all right. so rather than than running away, suppressing, disowning, right? So, so this is the strategy, embracing ourselves, which, which, uh, you know, pointed was this right. book by How How Stone, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, correct. So, mm. so since we are talking about this, uh, validating and embracing this self, so let's also talk about the treatment. What are the treatment options available for schizophrenia and DID? Are the approaches same or they are pretty different from one another? Well, um, there are more protocols definitely mm-hmm. for, for schizophrenia and, mm-hmm. and, and uh, even medication 
right? Uh, to do with uh, bringing down the dopamine, the excess dopamine. A lot of uh, strict treatment strategy is, mm -hmm. is 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 about that. And then and then psychotherapy, you know, with schizophrenia is 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 about um, looking at ways, you know, to 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 like get things uh, together to to rationalize thinking, right? Uh, so so a, a lot of CBT type of uh, therapy. Now with DID, it is less uh, mm -hmm. obvious, right? So so the uh, one one of the way to do this is, is more like family therapy, family mm -hmm. therapy within the person because there, there are a whole bunch of them, right? right. A whole, whole bunch mm -hmm. of cells. So, so we need to do like, like a, you know, the, the different, like, like today, you know, you were with me in, in these uh, sessions, right? We have to, to uh, facilitate some, some conversation between the different members of the family, right? right. Even though it's, it's all in, in one body, we mm -hmm. uh, need, need to see what each uh, goal is, what they want, you mm -hmm. know, how to validate, how to negotiate, right? So, so you'll be along those, those type of line and, and also about the uh, increasing awareness, right? Mm -hmm. like, like we mentioned, the host might not be aware of some of the other family members, right? It's mm -hmm. about increasing awareness of uh, all, everyone, you know, what is the agenda, then, then together we, we can collaborate, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so it will be along those, those type of strategy. And, and in this way, it is not a big difference, a whole lot of big difference with, with uh, therapy with any one of us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because as, as, as you know, you know, that, that you have seen me uh, working uh, with a lot of our patients. Um, yes. We, we, we do, we do the, see that they have different selves, yes. right? With, with the mm -hmm. different goals, um, yes. you know? Yeah, you were with me when we, we talked to this uh, young woman who, 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 who feels that, you know, she, she has a, a male self, right? right? right. Yeah, who, who's mm -hmm. not interested in makeup, but, but, but want to do some of the male things, you know? And, yes. and I gave, gave voice to, to this self of, of us, and then she was so relieved to, to hear that. Definitely, right? definitely. Mm. Actually, doctor, to be honest, I was very, very impressed with the way that you approached because I remember this client, she came in saying yes. that she have a OCD symptom, obsessive compulsive disorder, yes. and she tend to engage in certain routine, like she don't want to uh, see a girl's picture. So in order... Yes not to see that she engaged with some other compulsion right. activities, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm so impressed when you try to provoke her to understand why, why you are feeling uncomfortable. Then she said, oh, a, a part of me just feel like I want to be her. Oh, then let's awake that part and let's hear what the part has to say to you. That mm. is a totally different approach than any OCD approaches. Right. right, yeah, it is like like she has this own this this self of, of her. So so I just give voice to 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 this self, you know, mm -hmm. invite invite uh, him or her to, to to come out and and express, you know, what what he or she is is about, right? So so this this turned out to be a male self of, of this uh, young woman, and yes. and when she recognized that and I validate that, you know, all the anxiety went away. Right, because in, in that, in, because she, she has in, increased awareness of, of this yes. other part of, of her, right? Yes, which, which, yes. which is which which has a, a lot of value to add to, to her Definitely. life, rather than, than something that, that she's afraid of, that, that she's disowning, right, and which is then haunting her, as as yes, as, yes. as was as was the case Correct. when she came. When we were ending the session, I remember she, she said that this is the first time in her entire life she feel comfortable hearing about the other self, what it has Indeed. to say to her. I Indeed. think you just changed her life forever for her. After one <laughs> session, that was like uh, the first session she came in, isn't it? Indeed, that's right. Right. That's right. Mm. right. So yeah. doctor still uh, speaking about these uh, treatment options, right? So... Mm. Um, Many people are actually coming front, sharing their personal experiences battling with this disorder. So we have some famous people like uh, Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys, 
uh, Shit uh -huh. Barrett from Pink Floyd, and of course, John Nash, the Nobel Prize winning American mathematician and subject of the movie A Beautiful Mind. So I'm particularly picking up these people because this man who uh, made groundbreaking contribution to the field of mathematics was also known for his decades of long battle with schizophrenia. And Nash had apparently recovered from the disease later in life, which he said he managed to do without medication. Can you tell us uh, how possible the disorder seems quite complicated, schizophrenia, and how it can be cured without medication? Well, um, this is, this is um, <clears throat> you know, this, this is uh, debatable right mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. uh, of, of course uh, we want things to be balanced if that they are indeed uh, excess uh, dopamine you know mm -hmm. uh, i'm sure it's mm -hmm. not doing anyone any good and, and we have a way of measuring it now right yes then then mm -hmm. it, it, it might then there might be a case for like normalizing the, this uh, mm -hmm. excess uh, dopamine but uh, but in any case, the psychotherapy part is, I would say, uh, essential, you know, regardless of mm -hmm. whether medication uh, are used or not. That, that mm -hmm. the one, mm -hmm. one need to, to have a therapist, you know, that would help the person to be able to be aware, right, mm -hmm. of, of all mm -hmm. these different selves. So the idea right. is it's not about uh, the problem of too many cells, right? So, so mm -hmm. the the problem is when we have less awareness of many of our own selves, right? Mm -hmm. And then disowning mm -hmm. them. So, so mm -hmm. when we will help the patient to increase their awareness of, of their different yes. selves, and mm -hmm. and then uh, choosing right uh, the right cell at the right situation. The right context, yes. right to to, yes. to act to to um, interact with the world and others, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, it is. It and is. It is about about that uh, strategy. Correct. Right? In a way, you are, you are teaching the patients mm. how to gain a control on how to um, manage all this stuff and make the best use of them, right? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. how 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 to how to be aware, you know, and and uh, so so you you are uh, so this that there's like no no king per, per se. It is a very curious concept. It is not not like that. There's an ego which is like override all the different cells. You know, it is there is just like like awareness, right? Yes. Of, yes. of these uh, the, the different cells and and with this uh, awareness, you know. Uh, the, the world has certain demand, right? And 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 this is where then uh, the, the the right cell will need to surface, right? To right, interact correct. with that, and mm -hmm. and which is why Houston, you know, one one of the young students, uh, mm -hmm. wrote that book called uh, Partnering, right? So mm -hmm. so in in Partnering, I think you you have a copy of the book. It is it is about two partners, right? A husband mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. wife. Uh, coming together, but but it's mm -hmm. actually essentially two group of cells, right? Come coming together. Mm -hmm. So so it is that that idea. I mean, I have worked with uh, like like um, um, husband and wife, right? Mm -hmm. And then the the, the the wife like was shocked, you know. The husband mm -hmm. was was using pornography, right? And True. then, then I introduce another self of the husband to the wife, right? Meet, meet, meet this guy. You know, he has been using pornography since since he was a teenager. But you didn't know know him. When you marry, you marry a highly responsible CEO and all that. But uh, but this self was was uh, left out. <laughs> so so I introduced mm -hmm. this 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 chap to to the wife, right? So mm -hmm. so this is also part part of part of the self of your husband. Mm -hmm. that, that, mm -hmm. that he enjoys pornography, right? Mm -hmm. This is another mm -hmm. self of, 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 of him. And, right. and slow, so slowly they learn more about each other self, right? That there are mm -hmm. like two group of people getting together, but very often in, in, in their first courtship, it's only one self meet one self. <laughs> right. All, all the rest get 
disenfranchised, right? And then slowly, right. if they don't get um, introduced to each other very quickly, the, the marriage disintegrated. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. How, yeah. how did the session end, Doctor? Did, did the person manage to embrace this love along yeah, the Yeah, I mean, the, the husband feel relieved, yes, that, that this, this is other self of mine, you know, my, my wife get, get to know as well, so, so it's like less... Um, uh, mm -hmm. Less exhausting for him to try to cover up and and uh, disown and other of his mm -hmm. self, you know, secretly uh, mm -hmm. to do all these other things, right? That that mm -hmm. he is uh, ashamed of, but but which is essentially a part of his shell, is part of his shadows, right? Right, With right. Wonderful, uh, doctor. So I'm gonna take a moment here to read all our uh, participants' question. There's a lot, <laughs> but let me go one by one. So it's from Yumi. Uh, she asked here, could you say that another commonality <coughs> may be both DID and schizophrenia typically have abusive or traumatic childhood? DID would be result of defense mechanism, but schizophrenia may have biological factor. Well, I think to, to some extent, we, we have uh, covered that a, a, a bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, I think you already uh, covered that along with uh, many conversations. So right. uh, you can maybe see. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, but you can repeat it again too, thanks. And no uh, I was just trying to say that uh, uh, DID is a, um, DID typically comes from a defense mechanism, as you explained before, and that is the result of how DID became. But schizo, a schizophrenia is not only um, about defense mechanism, like the, the like the the consciousness of uh, it yourself, but it's more contributed to biological and environmental and many many factors. So in that sense, schizophrenia it's com uh, complex complexity. It's a little bit or quite different from DID. Well, there, there are similarities that, that, that we, we men, mentioned, you know, part, part of this uh, hallucination could be the intrusion of another self, right, in, in, into, into the, the main host. So, so in, in, that, in, that, in that way, that there are this similarity with uh, DID, you know, that the schizophrenic patient can, can be disassociating, right? Uh, so that, that is... Uh, the link, right? And and um, and the idea of DID as a defense uh, mechanism, um, I, I understand why you know uh, why that we, we think that, but uh, uh, but at the same time, I would want to put a more positive slant to it, right? So, uh, it is it is more I, I would say like I mentioned just now, uh, a creative resourceful way of uh, dealing with the world right with the demands of, of the world rather than, than necessarily a, a negative defensive move right it is it is it, it it is a testimony of how creative and resourceful the human being is right that we are able to create these this, uh, different cells to to deal with the different demands imposed upon us right even 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 uh, a child right uh, facing enormous uh, challenges abuses you know can come up with uh, these resources right so so I, I i would say it is more than just a defense mechanism but but a very positive re resourceful way of uh, dealing with the world right so i i would i would put that slant into that it's a very detailed explanation, right? Well, it's, it's a way of, of a, a different way of framing it, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. so, so that, that also um, come with the caveat of, of the therapy, right? Rather than think there's something wrong, you know, with a DID patient, you know, it, it is a, a way of a, a therapy that, that leverage on uh, the contribution of each of the cells. Right, right, to, right. To, to, to see what, what this self is about, you know, and, mm -hmm. how, and how it can add value, mm -hmm. you know, to, to the patient. Yes, rather than, I, I, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I do agree, doctor, and I do 
um, I do understand this is your approach in almost all the cases. Even yesterday, uh, when we had this um, autism patient, adult, you did say that there is nothing wrong about you having autism. There's nothing wrong. It's just that uh, the world is full of non-autism people. So it's about the yeah. communication. So I'm, I'm so happy. It's about the, it, you, yeah, it's about yeah. The, the context, right? The environment yes. rather than yes. about something wrong with you. Right. Yes. If if the if if uh, everyone in the world is autistic, there's uh, absolutely nothing wrong. You know, you'll be able to communicate perfectly, right? Yes. So so yes. it is the environment and the context that, true, that is the, 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 the issue. Correct. Right? Mm. Thank you, thank you, Yumi, for your question. So the next question from Odilia. So Dr. Edward, in multiple personality disorder, can there be different age group, different sexes? male and female voices and can a serial killer hide behind another character or can one personality threaten <laughs> another personality yeah yeah um mm -hmm. <clears throat> well there, there there is there is uh, some um right uh, portrayal movie make uh, even there's a movie called the primal fear you know we've reached a gear <laughs> i don't know some of you might have seen it uh, it has given some bad press to DID, right? In, mm -hmm. in this, in this uh, movie, the, the person actually manipulated the situation, although he's not DID, but he claimed under DID and uh, got away with murder. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. or, or got away with a crime, actually. Mm -hmm. And then there was a prosecution, right? Of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of some famous cases uh, claiming to be DID and all that. Well, so so bit, but in in actual fact, you know, one personality trying to harm another personality. I I, I don't think that that has been documented much, right? right. So so each each uh, uh, alter each personality have something positive to contribute, mm -hmm. uh, in general, you know, in in a patient rather than trying to mm -hmm. harm one another, right? Mm -hmm. So 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 that it is more more of a positive contribution than, than anything but but of course you know you 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 need to like understand the situation maybe in some order they, they are like uh alcoholic or, or 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 abusing drugs or something like that or maybe mm -hmm. even you know self-harm self-cutting you know that that can happen right mm -hmm. but 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 as in in all um situation uh, mm -hmm. that is uh, normally a coping mechanism right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. even even in in uh, self cutting you know it is a way of coping with some mm -hmm. some emotional pain you know so it is it's a way of understanding and, and giving uh, support you know to to that uh, alter if, if if there's a need you know of uh, of that alter you using abusing certain things right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so it's not about that order trying to harm another personality right right Adelia also has another question so can every personality have amnesia or read or see or know what the other personality is feeling or thinking well, we, we we have mentioned just now right mm -hmm. there, there are the different uh formulations right mm -hmm. some some mm -hmm. uh, alter have knowledge about others you know they are the main holes and and the the, the co hosts right and and these have uh, knowledge about most of the alters but but not all right it is possible mm -hmm. that there there are some uh, very shy very disowned alter you know and and we do that you know in in, in my therapy room you, you haven't seen that but but we we, we split right the patient mm -hmm. into some some of their personality that is very very shy and, and we might even put a chair outside the consultation room and say you know that that is your that self you know is very shy wow. very underdeveloped you know but but just to to welcome him or her wow. there you know is is, mm -hmm. is enough you know just to have his presence there to join us to to mm -hmm. start with right so mm -hmm. so that that is possible that there, there can be some very underdeveloped self right mm -hmm, but, but mm -hmm. nevertheless it is it is a uh, part of the community right wow right? very intense <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah thank you doctor thank you Adelia. so uh victor has asked a question but i believe we have answered so may i know is there a cure from schizophrenia and how to recover from schizophrenia so just like doctor shared just now most of his therapy approaches 
So embracing all the self, validating, acknowledging their needs, that will be like part of the therapy approaches, right? Indeed, 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 mm-hmm. yes. And, um, you know, uh, t- teaching uh, ways to, to embrace and, uh, and uh, standing up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so we haven't talked much about. Um, okay, so so that there was this idea of of uh, conflict and even abuse amongst herself, right? Mm-hmm. So 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 it is true. But I mean, I mean, um, I think I think Yumi mentioned right uh, about mm-hmm. abuses, um, and uh, there are more with DID, but but there are also abuses with uh, schizophrenic patients. Right, uh, especially mm-hmm. with relationship to parenting, right? Uh, a lot of schizophrenic patients they have what you call uh, inconsistent parenting. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so you mm-hmm. you don't know, you know, at one moment your your mother can be like like very happy to see you, and oh. another moment that they're like suddenly turn and cold. So, so when you you know have some of the biological propensity, right? That that can easily then. Um, uh, mm-hmm. be become an, an issue and especially uh, some schizophrenic patients they have uh, uh, very abusive right mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. parents so we are not mm-hmm. blaming the parents as such but there is a, a, a form of a therapy called uh, avatar therapy you know avatar uh, therapy. in, mm-hmm. in, in mm-hmm. the institute of, of london you know psychiatry industry of psychiatry london where, whereby the, the therapist will create an avatar of an abuser together with the patient, right? They created mm-hmm. this, this avatar. And then mm-hmm. together, you know, the therapist with the patient that develop a voice to, to be mm-hmm. able to, to stand up. Fight back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, to this uh, avatar, right? Mm-hmm. And that has shown to be very successful, right? So, mm-hmm. so, so the way I look at it is, is about embracing this inner critic. So, so this, this uh, abuser, right Mm -hmm. uh is no longer out there for for many of the schizophrenic patient right it has Mm -hmm. become internalized it is an abuser parent has become internalized as as the what we call the inner critic the critical Mm -hmm. self so a lot of uh schizophrenic patient has a very critical self right Mm -hmm. who's always pushing them right uh putting them Mm -hmm. down right so so Mm -hmm. we also need to embrace this Mm -hmm. self Right, so so this critical self also have have uh, a lot to contribute, mm-hmm. but uh, you know when when the the patient embrace this this self, then mm-hmm. this is also the the towards a recovery, right? Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, doctor. So um, let me see further questions. From Odilia, can the person have two disorders like multiple personality and DID together? Well, we have well, mentioned I, that. We have yeah. mentioned that um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, multiple personality has uh, become in the DSM-5. To DID. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, they, they, but at the same time, they are different disorders. So, so mm-hmm. yeah, since, since it's one or the other now, it is, mm-hmm. it is in that sense, uh, academically, mm-hmm. it's, it's not possible to have both, right? Since in India, M5, there's only DID, not yeah, MP and, anymore. And but, our uh, practices, we are following DSM 5 right in, now. Yeah, mm-hmm. in, in, mm-hmm. in general, yes, we, we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Very interesting question from uh, Hong Kong Ong. Doctor, how would you deal with a person who is suffering from schizophrenia and who hallucinates that her husband is dating another woman? Well, um, yeah, so 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 that 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 is uh, something we 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 need to validate, right? So so mm-hmm. this is like like uh, an, an another self of this patient who mm-hmm. who may who may be feeling insecure, right? So so this 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 uh, wife, right, has mm-hmm. has a has a, a a very insecure self, right? Mm-hmm. Who 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 then have have this uh, uh, suspicion. Right mm-hmm. of, uh, mm-hmm. of 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 the husband dating and 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 another another woman right but right. Uh, but but this cell needs also to be heard right mm-hmm. to be validated 
to be embraced you know what what mm -hmm. is this self about you know um mm -hmm. what is this security about so mm -hmm. so once we we're able to to uh, give space you know and hear this self um then we, we can uh work with the patient right right mm. so um, so so it is mm -hmm. it is the same approach to to embrace to validate this this other self to get to know this other self more this right. uh, suspicious self mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. right. which also has 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 uh value Neat. yeah right, has, has a needs need. and has mm -hmm. value right to, to mm -hmm. offer Yes. Right, doctor. So, uh, you may you may have a few questions here. So, how often do you meet DID? What is the ratio of DID and schizophrenia in the world? So, you may answering that. I have a few uh, statistics here. About one percentage of adults around the world live with schizophrenia, while about uh, one point five percentage of people in the world is diagnosed with uh, DID. Mm. Um uh what else so doctor maybe you can tell uh how often do you meet a did patient in your well, in your well there, there, mm -hmm. there are there are degrees right mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of um of of, of this mm -hmm. right of, of say severity right but mm -hmm. but to, to absolutely uh meet, meet the criteria like like you say is it's about 1.5 to 2 mm percent -hmm. right yeah mm -hmm. so um um i know uh in in my in my in my experience and practice schizophrenia are more common right but mm -hmm. but in, in your data just now the id seem to be a, a little bit more a little right? bit higher yes mm, yeah mm -hmm. yes so so the, um but uh at the same time you know we we, we need to like like um right uh a couple of years ago i have this patient mm -hmm. who, who thinks you know he's mm -hmm. indian but he, okay. but, but he thinks but he thinks that he's Vincent Tan, right? You know the the, the famous tycoon, right? right. He, he think, so part of him think he's Vincent Tan, right? Uh, so 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 is that DID or, or schizophrenia, right? So so that 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 was interesting. So so I I asked him, you know, can can you uh, show me, you know, how you are as Vincent Tan? You know, can you like walk, you know, be be Vincent Tan? And he did that, right? He like like see it and talk like Winston Tan even though he's Indian and um, so so that that and also so that allow him to to embrace that need to be uh, the Winston Tan tycoon right mm -hmm. even though he, he was he was um, you know a young Indian chap right I'm I'm now very curious to understand what is <laughs> his unmet need that make him to to develop well, this character uh, uh, mm -hmm. so so obviously he he has the, this need to to be a powerful man right, right? like like mm -hmm. like vincent tan right mm -hmm. so 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 that that was that was that need that that, that was not met you know in his um, family of origin situation probably mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so so which is why i think that there are a lot more connection between the two mm -hmm. than than normally thought of yeah Correct, correct. Mm. Um, Hong Kong Ong is a bit interested to understand uh, whether doctor provide any counseling session to a person who is suffering from schizophrenia. So in totally, IPC, yes. there are definitely yes. mm. many types of therapy approaches that can be customized Indeed. according to exactly. patient's needs. Both medical mm -hmm. and psychotherapy, yes. yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. So uh, Yumi has also contributed to a point where John Nashi actually did not recover from schizophrenia, but he managed to overcome his symptoms until the point he did not have to take medication anymore because of the strong will. Oh, that's a good point. I would like to understand, uh, doctor, can there be a situation whether the patient is actually recovered from schizophrenia versus the patient is just stronger than the other self? And embrace it. So, so is there a line in between this? Well, I, I think I think that there, there, there can be a, a point where there, there are the a, a very good awareness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, of mm -hmm. of um, you know the hallucination, the, the different selves, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where, whereby you know the, the the patient is able to to manage most situations. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and, and even without the need of medication. Yes. So, doctor, is it safe to say that uh, in this case, when the patient obtained the strong will, it is also part of recovery already? <clears throat> well, I, I, I wouldn't term it as, as a will per se, right? Mm -hmm. It, it mm -hmm. is about uh, awareness. Awareness. Acknowledgement. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awareness of, of, of the, all these uh, other part of himself, right? Yeah, okay. of, of the right. environment being being flexible, mm -hmm. you know, adaptable, resourceful. It mm -hmm. is about that. Right. Hong Kong Ong have two questions. One of the questions is already answered whether it is possible for a person who is suffering from schizophrenia to be managed without any medication. Uh, which doctor did answer that um, in terms like if there is uh, any needs for medication, of course, we have to cater to it. But there are also cases that uh, with therapy, like avatar therapy, there are like uh, valid proof that can be cured also without medication. The second question, doctor, you were talking about different alters are facing at different time in the main host. Do you think mm. each of them each of their needs to be managed or each of them can be managed or you can easily ignore. I, I don't truly really understand. Perhaps yeah, so, understand so we, 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 we don't want to ignore, but mm -hmm. uh, be aware and embrace rather than pushing away, ignore discounts, you know, which, which happens a lot, you know. Ah, and, okay, okay. And, mm -hmm. and that is why, you know, in, in schizophrenia, there, there are discounting reality, discounting the, the here and now, mm -hmm. right? And then mm -hmm. choose to, to uh, 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 adopt like, uh, you know, uh, a, a different reality, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so so we, don't, we don't want to reinforce that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kelly Esther Young, uh, she, she gave a feedback that um, she has learned um, how to be able to better empathize uh, with people in such condition. Yeah, that's true, actually. I, I believe that um, many, uh, many of us can relate to some level of the emotional swings, nervousness or compulsion, but it can be a lot harder for those without direct experience to relate to the symptoms of schizophrenia or DID. So what we tend to do when we fear about something, uh, we, we get to fear and avoid something that we don't understand, right? But of course, thankfully, we have a psychologist like Dr. Edward here, whose part of their job is to demystify things that are happening in our head. And like what Kelly said here, in often cases, understanding is maybe the key to the compassion here, right? You are doing a wonderful job here, doctor. So that's a feedback from Kelly. So again, uh, Hong Kong Ong asking for a video recording of this webinar session, which will be available. Um, yes. The number is provided here. So we'll ask our, in, our staff to send the video recording. And... Yumi again, last question. DID is hard to meet. Is there a way to detect DID a person? I believe she's asking without a psychological way of diagnosing. In, in lay term, is it, is it easy to detect a DID person in the public? Well, I mean, um, you know, to, 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 a, to a lot of extent, to a large mm -hmm. extent, you know, all of us shifts, you know. From, mm -hmm. I mean, when we are in a different company, oh. different environment you know our, our cell shift right it right. is a very natural we, we transition from one cell to another you know when i go and play tennis later later you know you will see wow this is a different cell right <laughs> <laughs> so so we all we all do that yes. right yes. yeah yes. and and mm -hmm. and sort of effortlessly you know shift from from one cell to another Right. So, so unless you you uh, track it, you know, by very totally, and then, and then in, in some situation when there's amnesia going on, mm -hmm. then then it is not going to be very apparent, right? Right. Uh, from from one right. cell to to another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. now, hopefully, with, with some uh, knowledge and trend, I you know, we we can uh, detect some some right. of this uh, shifting of alters. Which, right. which is which is more common than we think mm -hmm. right? you're right you're right mm, mm -hmm. to to all of us to to that extent 
Right. All right. You, you yeah. made it very clear that this is pretty common, but it's about like how much it's uh, interfering mm. with the reality concept. Yeah. Yeah, and and I and I want to you know in, incorporate this as as a you know as a therapy, right? That that is that is uh, available to to most people, right? Mm -hmm. It is form mm -hmm. of therapy and you know, of of increasing awareness of our different selves right to be available to 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 everyone to more right. of us rather than than the did you know diagnose uh patient per se right you know? we, we can all benefit from right. uh, people with did yes you know? because yes. it happens to all of us Right. Yeah, I love yeah. this point of view. The well, world is so beautiful <laughs> if we, we look through this lens, actually. Yeah, Indeed. right. Indeed. This is such an enlightening session for me, and I believe it would have been for our audience too. Is there anything that you would like to add on, Doctor? Well, I, I think, you know, as, as, as in all disorders, you know, we, mm -hmm. we have a, a lot to, to learn. You know, we mm -hmm. are very uh, thankful and grateful, you know, of of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, many patients that that allow us to, to share you know aspects of their lives and to learn from them right and and we, we ourselves are always learning and uh, you know so let, let let's be, be open-minded and uh, refrain from uh, judgment and stigmatization yes. and uh, you know learn mm -hmm. from our patients and each other mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Our audience definitely enjoyed this session and, and uh, Aurelia mentioned she took back different perspectives. Wow, after this session and she would like to access to the recording. I feel so fulfilled doing this with you. Thank you, Doctor, for the opportunity. Thank you. Well, thank you for the whole thing coming in. All right, so till we meet again. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank have, you, have thank, have you. thank nice you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, doctor. Take care. Bye-bye.